Welcome to the lab on antivirus. So in the lecture, we had seen some of the basic ideas or principles of antivirus. So now we're going to look at a sonic wall network security appliance or firewall that um, to see concrete examples. Uh, once again, the idea of this is not to get to understand all the details of setting up a sonic wall, but to see in general the types of what you what you have in security appliances to deal with antivirus. Now the sonic wall has two completely separate types of antivirus. So the first one is client AV enforcement. This is probably the less popular one used. And what this does is it allows you to push antivirus software onto, on, onto your workstations. And then if in fact the workstation does not have the proper antivirus or the latest signatures, then it doesn't let it get onto the network. So that's why it's called enforced AV. So basically you have, you have an antivirus software installed on every workstation on the workstation, on each workstation itself, but it has to go through the firewall, and the firewall will not let any antivirus will, will not let uh, any computer onto the network that doesn't have the proper antivirus protection as you define it. So what you see here is that this is the client AV enforcement, and you actually have two choices: you can either use McAfee or Kaspersky. Uh, in in the demo here, they obviously show it's not licensed for the McAfee. This is the, you would use one or the other. So in this in the demo, they're showing you that you have Kaspersky is licensed for five users. So in other words, you would use this to push uh, to push antivirus protection onto those five computers. And if any one of them didn't uh, didn't have it, then they would be blocked. So the way you would do that is if you go to Manage Licenses here. If this was a real firewall and not a demo, then you would be able to log in here. You could actually set up the uh, antivirus to be pushed to the uh, to be to be pushed to the workstations. But if we come back here, you can see how once that's done, you can see how easy this is to set up. So uh, what you have here is this is the enforcement list. So you would come over to here and you could create a group and then put all your computers that you want to have the antivirus enforced on. You'd put them into a group here and that would enforce it. And meanwhile, you, you have an excluded list. So if there was any computers that you didn't want to have antivirus on, like maybe a server that had its own antivirus, then you would put them into, into the group. Now we can look at the other more popular type of antivirus, which is gateway antivirus. So let's wait for this to come up. Here it is. So on gateway antivirus, that's very different than what we just looked at because here you're going to have your virus signatures are going to be in the firewall itself. They're not going to be on your workstations. So essentially, if you enable this right here, you just click enable, then it's going to take all of the signatures that here and before anything from the outside world can get to your workstation, it's going to have to, you know, it's going to have to pass through the firewall. And if the firewall has a signature, then it's going to block a specific piece of malware. So you can see here that you have 21,000 signatures, okay? And what's going to happen is, if you, assuming you have a subscription, if you license for this, then you have a timestamp. You can see today's actually the 6th, uh, April 6th. So you can see that it updates automatically every day to give you the latest virus signatures. So what you have, then you can go ahead and if there's any particular signatures that are causing you a problem, like you're getting false positives, you could actually go in and disable it just like that. So if there's any one or two particular signatures. And here you actually get a chance to do some other, a little bit more in-depth 
uh, filtering. So you could go to like settings of HTTP and you could restrict transfer of zip files and things like that, which is certainly not antivirus. It's, those aren't viruses, but you can restrict certain types of traffic from going past. So this is not 100% antivirus, but it, it comes along as a feature with that, with the gate, gateway antivirus. So the thing you want to realize is even with gateway antivirus, you still want to have antivirus installed on the particular computer and not just the gateway antivirus. So the gateway antivirus gives you this two levels of protection, which is defense and depth, which is what you always want to aim towards. So that's the end of this lab. Thank you very much for watching.